Here with Tara Farrell to preview the 2022 Concordia tennis season. Uh, part of the season got going uh, back in the fall as well, but most of it takes place in the, the spring. I uh, wanted to start out with a, a little bit of background. Uh, you're from, from Lincoln. You, you graduated from North Star uh, High School. Uh, what kind of factored into your decision to, to come to Concordia? Um, so I went on a visit here and met with some of the professors. I wasn't originally planning on playing tennis, but I mentioned to them that I might like want to look into it. So I did, and I really liked. Um, I met with Hobby, which is, he's not here anymore, but I don't know, he had a really good things to say about the program and like the players and everything, so I joined the tennis team. Mm -hmm. And you've loved it ever since, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, um, what, why did you start playing tennis, and, and what's something about it that's, that's kept you playing uh, through college? Um, so in high school, my I went to high school with my older sister, and she did track in the spring, and I didn't want to do a sport with her, so I tried out for tennis, which was also in the spring. So I it was just something different. I didn't want to do track, so I chose tennis. Uh, looking back quick at, at last year's team, uh, able to share the the regular season conference championship, which was something that hadn't been done before uh, in program history. What what did you find most exciting or, or rewarding about that that run? Um, it was like how much work we put in, like you know, in the off season and even like in practice, and we just went every day and tried our best, and I guess it worked out in the long run. Mm -hmm. How about uh, with, with, with Coach Cam Long? I'm sure things look maybe a, a little bit different. Um, how has kind of the, the response been to, to that change that you're, you've been <clears throat> adjusting to this school year? There hasn't been a huge difference, I feel, between like the last coach and Cam. Um, we still, like practice looks very similar to what it did in the year, like past years, um, we still do lifting and conditioning and everything. Um, I think he has a really, he's very motivated, like we're going to play a lot of matches, which I don't think we've played that much since I've been here. So that's, that's good. He's been trying to reach out to coaches to get us some good matches, so I'm excited for that. Well, as I mentioned, you, you did play a little bit in the fall with a couple tournaments and mm -hmm. got a win over Wartburg, which is a, a Division three college. Um, some new players, too, were, were in the lineup in, in mm -hmm. some of those. What, what, what did you learn about this team, I guess, back in the fall? Um, in the fall, the fall was a little rough for us. <laughs> But I think we definitely learned a lot like about each other and like how our style of game is and um, we've actually made a lot of improvements just in these past three weeks of practice. So we're excited to start playing. If the, the fall was a little rough, maybe it's safe to say that there's been a lot of progress yes, made since then. Definitely. What, what have you noticed? In, Yes, in practice since the second semester has, um, has started. Practice has been more competitive, I would say. Like um, the level of game, I guess, for each player has improved a lot. So we're able to compete with each other more and like push each other to be better. And I think that's what has led to the progress. How long does it take to kind of get? comfortable when you get new players in each year and, and maybe you have a different uh, doubles partner um, um, too. Yeah, it's definitely an adjustment. Um, I think it probably depends on the player. For me, I would say I'd like to think I'm pretty compatible with anyone and I, we're used to like switching things up in practice. We don't play with the same person like every day. so. 
I think for our team specifically, it's not a huge adjustment that we have to make because we're kind of used to it. But once we do get in season and we have those set partners, it's I I think it'll it won't take long to get comfortable with them. And this is your third season in the, the program. What what have you found most? Um, enjoyable or most special just about being part of Concordia Tennis? Um, I would say like the team atmosphere is probably my favorite part of being a part of the team, like a smaller team, because we don't, it's not like football or track where there's like a million people. We have, this year especially, we have like eight players, so we're all very close and yeah, <clears throat> I like that. Like just like the team aspect of it. You mentioned uh, it's going to be a, a busy schedule in terms of matches, and especially in, in March and April and uh, spring break. I think there's a lot of matches during that mm -hmm. time. Is there something you're most looking forward to about this uh, upcoming season? Ooh. Um, I think I'm most excited to play um, like higher level teams, I guess. We have some D3, I don't know about D2, but <clears throat> we do play some upper level teams, so I'm excited for that challenge. I, I mean, like you said, coming off, um, being a, getting a GPAC championship trophy, how does that change kind of where expectations are and, and just uh, maybe a, a confidence level within the program too. Um, we definitely have some pressure this year to get that title again. Um, I We're just going to go out and play and see what happens. We do have a lot of new girls, so we'll see. We'll see what happens.